Okay, Justin, introduce us. <laughs> I'm Justin, I'm Max cousin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is the task today. We've got a big hole here and we need to get this temporary power pole that I have rigged up. We need to get that set in the ground and then we need to actually wire it up and drag all this wire all the way to the very top of the lot, which you can't even see. If you look really closely, you can see the back of a fifth wheel. It needs to go past that. Quite a task. We've got Zeus helping us out. Zeus, say hi. We have a couple of wood guy lines up to hold the pole steady so the inspector can see that it's 36 inches down and that all the altitudes are okay. We also have to post our building permit, which I got crooked, and our address, which I did not. doing here in case you don't know is installing ground rods code requires that we have less than 25 ohms of resistance so that if there is a ground fault current or lightning strike electricity has a really easy escape route this prevents fires and heat from building up in the wires so definitely an important safety feature it was however very difficult as the soil was really rocky it took a lot of time to pound these guys in we had to do two at each box so a lot of work big thank you to Justin for helping with this <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. Is that beat enough? Yeah, yeah, no, I think you're good. All right, let me go help Kelly out with the plank yeah. yeah, I can run the copper. Oh, Justin and I have to drag all of those cables 410 feet up the hill. It's really steep, the cables are really heavy, it's too odd, and we don't have a way to unroll them easily. We were going to drag them behind the truck with the wire head, but Part of the trench is open still, so I can't drive my truck over a four or five foot trench. So what we're gonna do is we are making up a frame in which we are going to sit the spool supported by an axle that in fact is <laughs> a shovel handle, but it's fiberglass, so we're hoping for the best. And that should allow the spool to roll freely and we can grab it by hand and or use the truck via a rope way up the hill. So if we can get it that far, then we can wrap everything onto a rope, get it behind the truck and drag it almost the rest of the way. So that's that's what we're trying to do here. These are some forms that our concrete guys left behind. Most of them are cracked, but we found two that are pretty good. And I think out of this really bad one, we're gonna be able to connect it and make it all work. So that's what we're doing now.
across that thing, or who's gonna so, go over there? Ooh. So we're gonna put the shovel right on these right here, right? Yeah, the shovel's gonna be. I guess we can walk over this. It's not. I mean, might as well. Oh. oh, oh. So, we now have a way to unwind a spool of wire without having to roll it by hand and without having to worry about it rolling downhill out of control as happened a couple of minutes ago. Uh, I'm kind of excited about it. This is pretty good. I ordered 410 feet. Essentially, we have two temporary power boxes. They are on the same temporary power supply. We have one at the bottom of the lot, which is going to serve the house construction itself. This is top of power box. We have four dedicated 20 amp circuits that we've set up, as well as a 50 amp guy, which feeds the RV that we're living in right now. And this is the power box itself with all of the circuit breakers. So pretty robust situation because we had to run the temp power wires, 440 feet. We wound up with these super huge two watt wires that were very expensive. But what they do that other wires cannot do is that they can conduct enough electricity so that we don't have a significant voltage drop, which is sort of a measure of electrical pressure within an electrical system. And that means that our air conditioners and our trailer and all the appliances that we have, as well as all the tools up here, will run fine at the same time. So we have a full 100 amps at a full 120 volts per circuit up here, a great distance from the temporary power box, which is pretty cool. So we did it. It was a long couple of days dragging wires. This two watt wire is like that big around inside. It's quite large. And that meant that, you know, when you add the weight of the wire to the drag on the ground, dragging it by hand that 440 feet was pretty tough, which meant that I could only drag one wire at a time. It all worked out in the end. Big thanks to cousin Justin for helping me drag those wires. I trust you with a lot, Justin. <laughs> you are trust me with a lot. <laughs> I trust you with a lot of important things in my life. My secrets, everything. Yeah, a ton of secrets. There's a couple of them. <laughs>